Okay, so this is going to be a very brief class on how to fill out 5988 Echoes, uh, specifically the new ones out of G-Army, and how to put in all the uh, default codes you're going to require. So we're using, as an example form, we have 126 front and back, 126 tango front and back. Ensure you're actually looking at a 5980 echo. This happens way more than it should. Okay, not a 2404, not a 5987 echo, which is a vehicle dispatch, but an actual 5980 echo. It's going to say 5980 echo at the top left corner and say equipment maintenance and inspection worksheet. Verify the date. The date should be today's date or very close to today's date. This is far more for maintenance than it is for you. If we get a 5988 that's extremely outdated, even if it has faults, it's probably just going to get filed. Date in the top left hand corner. Verify all your admin data. So that's everything within this here blue box. You're going to look at the admin number, model number, equipment number, equipment nomenclature, the technical manual, serial number, registration number, and equipment NSN. All of this can be pulled from your data plate with the exception of your admin number. How to verify mileage. That is your current reading. That should match what is the current reading of your odometer. If the mileage is correct, please circle the mileage as you see here. This tells maintenance that you, in fact, actually looked at the mileage. If the mileage is correct, please do not cross out the mileage and then annotate the same mileage below. When we're sorting 5988s, if we see one that's crossed out, that just tells us there's a mileage update. But if the mileage is the same and you've just written the same number down, it just makes a lot of extra work for people. If the mileage is incorrect, draw a straight line through the incorrect mileage and annotate the correct mileage below. Verify service dates. Your maintenance personnel should already be tracking the service dates. However, it is your job to please not send your truck on mission if it's due for service. Service dates listed right here. Check to see if there are any faults that are already annotated on the 5988 to avoid a duplicate fault. So this switch uh, has already been placed on order, it's already got an NSN. Please don't write that same fault on as a new fault. Verify that the parts have been ordered for any previously identified faults. If parts aren't on order or if a fault is missing, please notify maintenance. So you see the switch is on order because it has an NSN and quantity ordered is one. Whereas this unserviceable soft top kit See, there's no NSN listed, and there's no quantity order. So the fault's been listed, but for one reason or another, nothing's actually been ordered yet. Maintenance should be tracking this, but if you happen to see it, it's just better for your truck. Verify that if parts have been received, that they have been installed. If quantity shows any number but zero, contact maintenance. Again, maintenance should be tracking this. However, no one bats a thousand. See, we see that we have a tire in for this truck. Quantity issued one. So that means the tire is ready to go on. PMCS. PMCS stands for which of the following? A. Pretending maintenance catches stuff. B. Praying my car survives. C. Prevents missions, current success. Or D. Preventative maintenance checks and services. If you have answered to any of these but D, we need to talk. How many kinds of PMCS are there? Before, during, after, weekly, and monthly. Before PMCS. Do the before preventative maintenance just before operating the vehicle. 
please pay attention to the cautions and warnings during PMCS. Do during preventative maintenance while vehicle and or its component systems are in operation. Please pay attention to the cautions and warnings. After PMCS, do the after preventative maintenance right after operating the vehicle. Pay attention to the cautions and warnings. Weekly PMCS. Do the weekly preventative maintenance weekly. Pay attention to the cautions and warnings. Again, this would be done every command maintenance. Monthly PMCS. Do your preventative maintenance once a month. Pay attention to the cautions and warnings. Monthly PMCS is performed on the first command maintenance of every month. Okay, what tells us how to do the PMCS? I've listed all the manuals here for all of our common equipment. Is this the correct TM for our PLS? 364-10. So how would we know that? So if we go back to our 5988, we've got a 1075A1, and the TM we're looking for is the 319-10. So again, the one we had on the left was the one we were just looking at, the 364-10. The one we want is on the right, 319-10-1. The 1075 versus the 1075A1. The vast majority of the checks are not going to change, but there are equipment where using the wrong TM will cause you to miss things. Okay, is inspecting welds part of your PMCS? If you look down at block 3, you see welds. Everything you see on the screen here is part of your 10 level PMCS. Pulled it right out of your dash 10. Alright, major ones we need you to look at for leaks. Okay, if it's leaking brake fluid or fuel of any kind, class 1, 2, or 3, that is going to be a deadline and maintenance needs to know immediately so we can get that fixed. Okay, so we have item number five listed right here. Your equipment non-mission capable. So if the condition listed in this column is met, then your truck is non-mission capable. That is an NMC fault. So we see that any fuel leak, so if there is any fuel leak, period, you have a non-mission capable fault. So item number five would go into the item column. Class one fuel leak. This is a very typical fault that we would see. What we'd really like to see is class one fuel leak from thumb nut on fuel water separator. This gives our maintenance guys a very specific location to look at. Any fuel leak, again, that makes it a deadline fault. Okay, fault codes must be annotated. That's going to be your how found, your when found, and your object code. So looking at the previous fault, it was it's going to be an operative. There's nothing for leak, so an operative is the closest description we have to what our problem is. So it's going to be 068. It was found during an inspection, so it's going to be Foxtrot. And your object code is going to be fuel system. Please write rank and name. It's very difficult to track down the private or soldier that did this PMCS if all they have is initials. If we can solve your fault, we will. In this particular case, Sergeant Mouse replaced the thumb nut seal. Okay, so while I was deployed, this happened and this made no sense as to why this would have happened until this video showed up a few days later. Hey, first we're gonna have some air time. We're gonna break. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pretend that that was a PLS because I just don't have a good video of a PLS getting broken. Again, it would be 068. It's obviously an operative. It, it would have occurred during normal operation because the truck was out on convoy when this happened. Although I think an argument could be made for flight. It's part of the spring and shock absorbers. It, again, it's a lower A arm, but we don't have that specific uh, item listed, so we pick the closest item that we have.
In this case, it would be a 4. Normally, uh, your item numbers would be in numerical order, and they are, but this is in the during portion. So, during has its own set of numbers, so that's why this is seemingly out of order. It's obviously a deadlining fault. And driver side lower A arm disconnected from frame. Again, it's a specific location about the fault. If no faults were found, then annotate the current date and name. The name is important because if there is some crazy obvious deadline fault with that truck, we need to know who said that truck was good. If the vehicle is on mission, then write on mission and a name. If the vehicle is in for service, write in service and the name. Okay, resources. So, obviously you're watching this on YouTube, but understand, at the making of this class, it's obviously not published yet, so I do not have the address to put in the slide. I will email this class if you would like. I will give you the Dash 10s for the Matt V, PLS, Humvee, and MTVs if you would like them. I highly suggest that you get them and put them on your soldiers' phones. Have them save them into file manager or PDF expert or whatever app they want to use so that if their TM grows wings and flies away, gets wet and falls apart, or they flat out just lose the thing, that they have no excuse for why they couldn't do a good thorough PMCS. If you have any questions, please hit me up, send me a PM, or leave a comment below.